Okay, so here we have two scrap pieces of briar from the exact same block, same thickness, about three sixteenths, maybe a quarter, and uh, within, say, a sixteenth of an inch, these tea lights will both be at the same exact height. The only difference is that this one has been coated with water glass, pumice, and activated charcoal. This is the famed bare briar, and we're going to do an experiment to see how quickly each of them develop a dark spot that would indicate a burnout or a soon to be burnout on a pipe. So within a couple seconds, we'll light them at the same exact time. We're going to light the bowl coating one first. And you may want to light a pipe because it actually takes quite a lot of work to burn out a briar pipe. Although some of you are better at it than others. starting to get some smoke and the bear briar one fire on the front edge. And you can see the bare briar is starting to get a hot spot and the edge is on fire. You can see that the one with the bowl coating is still just fine. Now the bare briar one is completely on fire. And let's get a shot of them underneath if we can. So the one that was made without bowl coating is completely on fire to the extent that I think we're gonna have to end the experiment on this side and we're still going on the bowl coating side folks
I'm like the Energizer Bunny here. We're just we're still going. Okay, so I think our experiment is probably pretty conclusive, but we are at 5 minutes and 50 seconds with an open flame on the briar that has been coated with approximately, I don't know, half a millimeter of bowl coating. And it's just now starting to smoke. So we've definitely got a serious hot spot on even the coated piece of briar, but it's still not on fire and it's still not charcoal. Now I'm just worried that the tea light might burn out before the coated one actually catches fire. Going on 8 minutes and 20 seconds here, and we definitely have a serious dark spot. I would not want that on the outside of one of my pipes, but still no fire. So if you're curious why some of us choose to use a bowl coating in our pipes and if the efficacy of said bowl coating has been called into question by some, I'm not going to go so far as to say that this is conclusive evidence to the contrary, but I certainly feel much better putting my work out there with a one millimeter thick bowl coating when the comparative results look like this. So I think we could probably go on and on and on and on, but I'm comfortable ending the experiment at 10 minutes, which is coming up in about 10 seconds.